I don't consent to anyone touching me. So pick, picture it if you're in a foreign vessel in dry dock and an officer comes up beside you and they go to grab you. This is something that you could use in that instance, which the idea came to me because this actually happened to someone that I know. What I'm about to share with you isn't exactly what they said, but it's pretty close and it worked for them. So we're gonna go through this together using the knowledge that I shared with you in the last uh, lesson that we just did. So I don't consent to anyone touching me. If you could sum this up into one or two words, what's being claimed here? Anybody have any ideas? Your authority. It is a claim of authority, but more specifically, what is it? You have no right to touch. No consent. They are on the same side, those two. No agreement. Again, I'm going to start out with for the claimant's knowledge. Because when you write this stuff, you have to take full jurisdiction, full accountability for what you're saying. You want there to be no mistake that you are the one who has the authority over what you're doing, i.e. author. So now we're to that point again <clears throat> for the claimant's knowledge of the facts is with the claim. Because if you have the word claimant in your claim, then you also have to have the word claim. Because that's what you're doing. You're making a claim. A claim of what? Quite literally, void consent. Did anybody see that coming? For the claimant's knowledge of the facts is with the claim of the void consent. So now we have to finish it off. You wouldn't use a word like touching because ing is a particle of negation. So you'd have to think of a synonym for that. What could be a positive performance synonym for touching? Does anybody know? Touch. How about this? Physical contact. That covers all the bases. Because what if someone's using a club? They're not touching you, the club is. So it's physical contact. That's another thing to try and zero in with laser-like precision what you're trying to convey. So we have the cause for the claimant's knowledge. What's the claimant's knowledge concerned with? The facts. Singular verb is, 
with the claim is possessive. It's possessing the facts and it's concerned with the void consent. What's the void? Con what's possessing the void consent? Physical contract. We're not con uh, contact. We're not consenting to physical contact. We'll say with the claimant's body. There I'm sorry, other claimant's body. Running out of room here. And we'll just say of the Vasilis. Sorry for the writing. Got kind of sloppy at the end there. So we have for the claimant's knowledge of the facts is with the claim of the void consent, with the physical contact of the claimant's body, with the performance of the Vasilis, with the command by the claimant. I don't consent to anyone touching me. Backwards. For this claimant of the command is with the Vasilis of the performance, with the claimant's body, of the physical contact, with the void consent of the claim with the facts by the claimant's knowledge. Imagine coming up with that on the spot, under duress. Can I make a comment? You sure can. Realistically, if you say these things to a police officer, I mean, the, the example that you gave is from, from someone you know. You know. Let me turn on my camera. <laughs> Um, Kristen here uh, was pretty fortunate for that person not to be uh, how do you say um, bat, uh, mishandled by the police officer you know these guys are sometimes are just thugs <laughs> so at which point can you actually you would say this to the police officer at, at the at the actual uh, actual actual time when when he's about to touch you well, in the particular scenario that I was sharing with you, that is exactly what happened. Okay. But, th but this is something you can do in your document contract, Postal Vessel Court venue. When yes. you post your roads before you go in there, this could be part of your claim. Correct. Where you're telling them this is yep. part of your terms and conditions. Right. This is part of the preparation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm showing you also with me standing here at the chalk at the dry erase board. Like I'm coming up with the, I didn't practice this. No, this no, is no. off the top of my head. Yeah. And that's the level of closure that you have to have in those situations to be able to walk in those situations with confidence and be able to come out safely the other end. Right. And that's, that's why I'm, uh, I'm constantly saying, you know, the, the grammar comes first. People yeah. like to hear stories about what they did in court or didn't do in court and all those mechanics. I mean, I, I'm, educated on those mechanics but i concentrate on the grammar because you have to have a foundation first right you have to be able to do this before you can do that right because i've seen cases where they went i mean through i've, I've been really following up for years with this finally i can have someone like you <laughs> to teach this stuff but um i've seen some cases where they you know probably who i'm talking about that ended up in jail for 20 years for Miss completely misunderstanding what correct sentence structure, correct parts of syntax grammar is, and making a case against a, a fictional lawyer and things like that. And eventually he ended up in prison for 20 years for paper terrorism and things like that. And so. Well, real quick, I'll just comment on that and then we'll get back to yeah, the grammar. Yeah. Um, that situation you're talking about, uh, colon Leighton hyphen Lionel colon Ward, That's who correct. was the federal postal court clerk under David Wynn Miller and Russell J. Gould. Yeah. Uh, I don't know the whole story behind that, but what I can say is what I did listen to from the tapes that were available on YouTube, the conversations between him and the attorney. I mean, bless that attorney. He had a lot of patience listening to oh, that what, what Leighton yeah, was yeah. saying. 
but but the whole presentation, the lesson that I took away from it was, it's it, it comes back to making a claim for yourself. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you you have a second grade reading level. I'm not going to tell you you're confused. You don't know how to read and write. I'm not going to what I mean. You're starting off on the wrong foot. Let's put yeah, it that way. Too far. <laughs> no, because yeah, you know the three principles that I always talk about. The balance of the honor and the grace, the position of peace and neutrality, and the maintenance of the rule one rule equal. Right. The position of peace and neutrality means you're not out to hurt anyone. You're, you're not trying to mess up anybody's day. You're there to hold a position and protect yourself right. from what, whatever trespass is happening. Yeah. And then the uh, balance of the honor and the grace comes in when you are willing to teach someone this grammar. Right. You're willing to give them chances to either stop messing with you or correct themselves or whatever they need to do. And then the rule one rule equal is inviting them up to teach them the grammar if they want to learn it. Right. To comprehend what it is you're doing, what I'm doing right now. Yep. That's all part of it. Does anybody else have any questions about this? Before I erase it. If you would like to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, I offer several choices. The first one, and the easiest one, is to study the almost 900 free public videos on this YouTube channel that you're watching right now. The second option, if you want to see new content, is to click the join button on my main YouTube page or under any video that you're watching, click the join button, and you will see two tiers of membership. If you choose the second tier, the loyalist contributor tier, and you join that for a monthly support donation, you'll get new content, fresh content, exclusive content not available to the public every month. But keep in mind, there's already almost 900 videos here free to the public to study. And the third option is to contact me at the email address at the bottom of your screen and this is for the serious students only, and apply for a correct grammar workshop. But please include your correct name when contacting me, and I'll set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation, and you and I will have a conversation. You can ask me whatever you want. I'll answer your questions. I'll do the same with you. I'll ask you questions, and we'll see if indeed you are really serious or not. Thank you.